Hey, what's up? Before I start this video, I just want to let you know that this is just an updated video of what I've done to this HPI Baja. And in the next video will be the test run and get this beast going. Lots of good parts, so stay tuned. What's up everybody and welcome back to NWIRC. In today's video, I'm going to show you some of the damage from the previous video when I was trying to attempt some speed runs. Well, let me tell you, there were some issues and they were my fault. So I'm going to go over that real quick. So at first, if you guys remember when I was messing with the turnbuckles, I'll show a replay of what happened and I'll show you all the play that was in this area right here. But here's where I think my problem is with the steering. Pretty much I know it is. You guys look, there's a lot of play in there. Way too much play. Well, I thought it was the turnbuckle, the rod ends here, which I they're not in stock at DDM at the moment. So I ended up ordering a whole new set thinking that this was the problem. So yeah, well that actually was not the problem. My IRP turnbuckles were just fine. What it ended up being, if I get you a close up here, back here where this bracket holds on, I wanna say the hub carrier here, or the bearing carrier, the two top bolts on both sides, it, it happened on both sides, they were missing, completely missing. Like they either vibrated loose or I forgot to put them in when I was building this beast. So uh, yeah, so I kind of, I won't say I wasted money on buying new ones because all it's going to do is give me extra parts. Also what happened in that run with that little jump when it stopped running, I busted, uh, I believe it was this side here, I busted one of the dog bones. Well, not really the whole dog bone. Now keep in mind, these are stock dog bones. And here is the tit that I broke off the end of the dog bone. Now. This is where it becomes my fault because I already knew that these hostile boots were ripped and not in the greatest shape, of course. So that definitely could have been my fault, but nothing's bent uh, on these. So I ended up ordering the Fat Dad 300 millimeter dog bones. They claim to have a lifetime warranty. There's a little bit of installation that you have to do, and that would be including when it comes with these four millimeter dowel, dowel pins, you'll have to take like a simple vise, like something like this. Um, you'll need to get you a grinder or like a Dremel with a little bit there and just brace, just brace them up, brace them up in your vise. And you gotta put a little notch in each one of them dowel pins that goes through the end of your bone here. And that's exactly what I did here. So these here, are the 300 millimeter fat dad dog bones and these are the stock boots i wanted to get some hostile boots but they did not have them in stock i like going through ddm because they have fast shipping and i know i'm going to get good quality parts so i went with the original boots from hpi so there's a part number if you're interested in getting the original boots i'm not sure how these are going to hold up they may last one run, they may last a while, we'll see. I did grease everything up. Uh, what did I use here? The, I bought this, uh, it's, it's from DDM, it's just a grease. You could probably use any grease. I could have probably just used this marine grease and it would have been just fine. I just like supporting DDM because I've been with them for years. I spent thousands and thousands at that store and absolutely love them. Um, other than that, another upgrade we have done is I took and bought a hostile 54 tooth spur and installed the 20 tooth pinion. So this is gonna be completely different. Uh, before it was an 1857. So if, if I'm correct, this thing should be pretty wild. But anyway, uh, yeah, she's all together, ready to rip and batteries are fully charged. I got the GNSS uh, analyze meter here for our, see how fast we get it to go. And maybe we'll do some bashing. All right, something else here, guys. I want to show you the turnbuckles. Yeah, see, there was nothing wrong with these turnbuckles at all. But you know what the good news is? Is I have a bunch of spare parts for it. And if you're looking for the IRP turnbuckle part number, there you go. You can pause the video at any time. I'll also include the part numbers in the description below 
And uh, so yeah, I mean, 8S, Beast, you've seen this guys. I'll put the playlist in the iCard above here and you guys can check it out. And if you're wondering why I haven't posted any videos here recently, it's because I've been working on a new project. As you can see, I put up this track system for just some of my RCs. Uh, the top shelf is pretty much empty. I'm gonna go ahead and once I build my collection, that's where I'm using this space for. Uh, sorry for the poor lighting, that's just how it is for now. You guys see that's my charging station. I can pan around. This is where I keep all my, you know, the batteries normally go in a steel cabinet. I just got them there just to fill the shelves. All the batteries inside there, they are in storage mode. Uh, a little paint collection, you know, some of my stuff. Oh, don't forget the giveaway on that one. I'll post the link in the description where you can enter to win that one. Uh, a couple of drones, you know, my Bose cards and all that. Uh, editing station. And there's my it's like a 57 foot custom boat, built boat that I am want to get built. So if you pan around here, on the other side of my office, those that's my pegboard system where I keep you know some of my parts to where it's easy access. I was storing some stuff on the top shelf, which I still will because I need a lot of storage in here. And here are my vintage. Well, I won't say vintage. These are re-releases of Kyosho and Tamiya's kit builds which I do have one completed I'll show you guys that in a minute here's my other corner storage this is you know the Armo Mojave that's an, another 8s beast and actually these wheels were off that Baja the ones that are on the Baja now that electric conversion I did has the Arma Creighton outcast fist scale tires on that I bought for it uh, Arma Big Rock Armor, another Armor Mojave, that's just the one that I've been playing with. And the Creighton, that's the Armor Creighton. Over here is just a section where my wife does her cricket and her tumblers and stuff like that. And uh, this is her area for that. But here's the, the Grasshopper, the one that's built. She does run, got everything going with that. But anyway, back to the video. Uh, so you guys can see I've been doing a lot of work in here. I gotta get some more lighting, that's why the lighting is not the greatest. So yeah, okay battery's fully charged we're gonna get this thing and rip it up and see what she could do and maybe we'll take it out on some jumps all right everybody if you like what you saw please like comment subscribe share this video out to your friends and we'll see you in the next one